What time is it? Mommy, repeat time. Where y'all at? Where you at? There you go. There you go. Ba 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 ba. Oh, it's over. <laughs> I spent all weekend watching some Bollywood stuff. I did. I did all weekend. I'm. I'm. I y'all. I love them. I am hooked. So now I want to do a review and even learning, like I've been learning about the cultures, things I never even knew, never even knew. And this is going to, this is my goal. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all my goal. Y'all going to help me. Y'all going to help me because look, I will do it. I will do it if I reach my goal. You think I could hit a million subscribers? If I hit a million subscribers, I just realized that I missed one of the big festivals just happened like last week, the Holly Festival, and y'all are teaching me things. They throw the red stuff on people and it's like a big celebration and people come all, all over like the, from the country to go. If I hit my goal, I mean, it don't have to be next year, right? This is just my ultimate goal. If I ever hit ever, like this is big, this is like a huge goal for me. Because it's going to cost a lot to get me there. <laughs> so I got to start making some YouTube money. <laughs> I got to start doing something so I can buy some plane tickets. <laughs> but a million, I could do it, right? A million subscribers. I'm going to go take a trip to the Holly Festival. That's my goal. We'll see how long, if, if it ever, if I ever get it, if I ever reach it. But that's my goal. Y'all help me share. Be like, sub, sub to Gracie of Andy Reacts. I will come to I will come to Holly Festival and then all y'all have to come and visit me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> That's why I said if it's gonna be a big goal, I have to reach big. I have to reach big for it. So what do y'all do? Go ahead, subscribe, share it, tell all your friends. Cause we got a long ways to go, y'all. A long ways, a long ways to go. One million? <gasps> Maybe if I start getting close, like like a hundred thousand. If I start getting like a hundred thousand or Half, 500,000, like 1 billion is big, but I can do it. I I say go big or go home or don't go to Holly. Don't go to Holly Festival. Go big or don't go to Holly Festival. That's what I'm saying. All right, now to the movie review. I watched both Bahabali. I think I'm saying it better just from watching it. Bahabali because they were always Bahabali. The first movie and the second one this weekend. I did the second uh, movie reaction recently and I talked a little bit about the first and what I thought of it. Really, I was confused. The first movie, I was very confused because first they came and they're showing like the baby saved and then uh, the the village, the ladies there took to, like took the baby in and raised them and then he, the guy who plays Bahabali, Bahabali, he was... um jumping off the cliffs in the mountains and trying to jump over the through the waterfall over the cliff and all this stuff and then all of a sudden it, it they start like showing these scenes where like they had brothers and I was like well that's him I'm like what is going on I, I was like that's him so now he's got a brother and he's living here and I was like what is going on well come to find out in the second movie it all made sense it all came together for me First of all, I loved it. So they had like flashback. I must have missed that or is like lost in the translation. Like I didn't understand. So for someone who is not like that's their native, like this is this is the rundown. You saw what happened, but that was like present time. Then they go back. They go flashback and they look at the family before that. They look at that baby's dad. The baby's dad was like brothers, right, with the other guy. I don't remember him, but he, I don't like him very much. But they were only like half. Like the mom must have had like a different husband because the brother's dad was around and he's a bad guy. Oh, and he, <laughs> he was always like, oh, you got to kill Bobby. You got to do this. And the brother was like, oh, dad, dude, what are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. But you can tell like he had a little bad seed. Like you can tell he has a bad seed up in him. And, and then, then you see like the dad's always got this cover and he's got this weird arm. He's got like this little baby arm. I was like, oh my gosh. 
like that right there. I was I was like, I could I, I was like, cover the arm, cover it. <laughs> but so they so this is a flashback. So Bahabali and his brother and it they were like raised with the mom, but it was something with that I don't I don't understand what happened with Bahabali's dad, but his dad wasn't around. But um yeah, so so then what happened, like the queen, the queen mother, like his mom, she, what she says goes, number one. What she says always goes. And that's why the brother was like, well, the orders have to be from the mom. Because what the mom says goes. I was like, that's right. That's right, queen mother. <laughs> and so what happened was Bahubali fell in love with this girl. And he did in a way. I was like, oh, like she really, he didn't tell her who she, he really was. But she was starting to see. He was like, he's more than he says. And they fell in love and he wanted to marry her. And it was against the queen mom wanting her to marry the other, the brother, right? And he was like, I want to marry her. And she's like, well, if you marry her, going against my orders, your brother's going to become the, the next on the throne, right? And you can just go off with her, like just you and her, but you ain't going to be no king. So then the brother becomes king of Kong. But the, everybody loves Bahubali, like everybody. And then the brother starts like just being mean, you know, you can tell like that brother ain't right. And he knows like everybody loves Bahubali and not him. And he like gets this guy under him and the guy, oh yeah. So then he marries the girl he loves, right? Bahubali does. And she's pregnant and then she gets his, his this new guy under him and that guy's dirty. Like he tried to all touch on her. You know what she did? The uh, Bahubali's wife, he, she come, he tried to like, she's like, oh no, she got a knife. She had whoosh, and whacked his finger off, off. I was like, oh! And then, and then they put her in court and she was all chained, all pregnant in court. And I, and then they were like saying, no, this and that. And then here comes Bahubali. I was like, oh no, Bahubali's coming. Y'all in trouble now. Y'all in trouble now. <laughs> Bahubali's coming. And... It's like he comes in the court and he's like, what's going on? And they, and she, they, he says, oh, you know, she cut off my finger, blah, blah. And he like asked her, well, what, why? You know, what happened? And she said, because he tried to touch me. And he said, oh, wife. I don't know if he said wife, but he was like, you should not cut off the fingers of the person, anyone who tries to touch you. He said, you should cut off his head. And then he cut, and I was like, Bob! But then he got in big trouble and then they exiled him, right? So he went and lived. Well, but then they think that that's bad. And But the people was like, oh, our, like they exiled him. He's going to be living with us. So he starts living with them, with the people and helping them. And, and they just loving him. But again, the king's up there, like seeing all this and he don't like it. Then they, like one of the guys like saw somebody trying to like come and execute him, right? And then he went to tell and there was this whole thing that 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 king guy, right, the brother, like kind of plotting to to like have him killed, right? But then they turned around and acted like Bahubali was trying to kill his brother, which wasn't true. But the mom, the queen mom, believed him, and then gonna have her son executed. Oh, that broke my heart. That broke my heart, y'all, that part. I was just like, what? That was, I was like, no. It, queen mother, like I liked her. She walked and she had that thing on her head and was walking and her feet was all banged up. And that, at the beginning, that bull tried, or that elephant tried to stop her, Mahubali. And then she's going to go and make wrong decisions. I was upset. That broke my heart. And then she had the guy, like, who was going to be like, he was like a slave guy or something. Right. But they, but Bahubali and, and his, the, the wife loved him so much. They was going to have him hold the baby like the first time. Cause the, the father, the grandfathers wasn't around. That's how much they loved him. And he's still gonna, and you know, he's gonna, he loves him like that. He loved Bahubali, but he's still just like, he follows the queen's orders. Like queen what the queen says goes What the queen says goes. So yeah, he killed him. But then after he killed him, then you find out the brother, like, started letting out his rage, started coming and chopping him up and saying, oh, good, I, I had planned this. So he found out the brother was behind it, set him up, told the queen mom. She finds out because they wanted to have the baby killed because then at the same time, the wife's giving birth. 
to Bahubali's baby. So they wanted to have them killed. But then the queen mom like sees what she did and like the lies and stuff. And they was going to have that baby killed. And she like stopped them and was like, she took the baby. And you're thinking, oh, what's, what's going to happen? But she went out and declared him. The new baby, Bubba, 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 Bahabali, Bahabali's baby, like the king. Then it was the whole thing. Then it brings you back to the very first movie, first scene, when this lady's in the river holding a baby up in the water and saving the baby. That was the queen mom saving her grandson at the time. So I was like, oh, full circle. Now it all made sense to me. And I just had chills. So then it brings it back to present time again, where Bahubali 2 Jr., right? He sees like his mom, because his mom's still around. The mom, Bahubali's wife, was still around. She was like in slate. Like she's looking, oh, he, they had her like chained up. The brother, the brother had her like chained up and just kept, like it was like a trophy to him. And Bahubali Jr. sees that there's mom there and he... Oh, so then I don't want to, well, should I give it the end? I mean, this has been like an older movie, right? Everybody's seen this. <laughs> Everybody's seen it, right? But yeah, the end was my favorite because when Bahubali Jr. and that uncle go at it, fighting. First, I was like, where did that uncle get that strength? Like the uncle's been pumping some iron and getting some practice in on fighting in all these 25 years that Bahubali died and the son was like raised in the village. He got some fighting moves and some contraptions. He, there was his whole fighting scene. He came out and it was writing this thing and it had these chopper things that were chopping people and then was shooting arrows. I was like, what? So he's been working on some machinery too and some fighting moves. And there was this last scene where him and Bahubali Jr. went at it and I was just like, this is amazing amazing like Bahubali he he thinks he's gonna get him with some this chain with a ball thing at the end Bahubali's junior was like he got these chains he wrapped them around his feet his hands and he was a bit oh <laughs> the fight scenes were amazing everything was I loved it I love one of the two things that stand out from for me that I just think's fun is they'll start playing songs in these movies that is like telling the story. So they're singing these songs and it's like telling the story. And I'm like, I love this. Kind of like a little musical going with it. And the second, <laughs> this made me laugh because it would be Bahubali. Yeah, it was like the original, like when he was, especially when he was with his wife and stuff or just like daydreaming, he would strike poses. Like he would strike a pose like this and his, and his knees up. And I'm like, there goes Bahubali posing again. Look at him. Like, he just knows he's good looking and cute and, and tough. And he was a good guy. Oh, like it really made me think because he, like, he found out, right, that they were, like, his, that guy was ordered to kill him by the queen mom on his deathbed. And he was like, take care of my, the queen, my mother. I cried. I cried. Because of all that, not his like wife, not his baby that's coming to take care of my mother. It was just shows like the love of a son and the mother. And you know, like I'm a mom. And she ordered his death because I guess she thought that's what was the right thing as the queen or whatever. And she was trying to maybe think of her country over, you know, being a mother. But oh. so for her to find out, like come back and I was like, no, he didn't try to kill him and all that was a plot broke my heart broke my heart but yeah i loved it i love the movie i can't wait to watch more i'm a huge fan fast like what have i started watching that for it's been a couple weeks i started watching these bollywood trailers fast huge fan all i've been watching i'm like where's i want to see more bollywood movies and more bollywood songs fast so i think we can get there one million y'all one million and i'm gonna come to that next when i hit it in the next holly festival i'm gonna be there I'm going to be there with the red, with the red powder, throwing it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Till next time, sub. Bring those subs here. We got to get to one million. Bye, y'all.